August the 11th, 1965, the bloodiest riot in 40 years of America's troubled racial history begins. Los Angeles, California, the district called Watts. 34 persons die, $40 million worth of property is destroyed, almost 4,000 are arrested. The American Negro, the invisible man, breaks out in a scream, look at me, look at me, know me for what I am, look at me if you can. Howard K. Smith reports The Face of Watts. The Six-Day War in Watts last August focused attention on the frustration and the anger of the American Negro living in large urban ghettos. It exposed for all the world to see the sense of isolation in which, according to the McCone Report, law and order have only tenuous hold and where marginal idleness leads to despair. In little more than five months after the riots, Watts has become the most analyzed community in America. Why did the riot take place? Was it a riot or was it something else? What was the Negro fighting for and what does he want? There have been many attempts at answers to these questions, but in too many instances, the answers have come from what is called the white power structure or the black power structure or from the question askers themselves. The common people of Watts, the men and women who took part in the riot or support the goals of the rioters claim that for the most part, they have been ignored. Come to us, they say, if you want the truth, and come to us looking for the truth. The white man send the bourgeoisie Negro, the one that's normally called the Uncle Tom down to get information. He always give him the wrong information because he always tells him everything's all right, boss. Well, everything's not all right, boss. If he was getting the wrong information, if the white man was communicating with someone that would tell him the truth, he can make his plans off the truth, and you can usually make good plans when you have good information. It is hoped that the views of the people of Watts expressed on this program will add understanding to the most difficult of all domestic problems in America, and indeed, if what they tell us is good information, then perhaps good plans can be made. At the conclusion of the film portion of this program, we'll look at the findings of a special ABC poll of Negro attitudes in the Watts District of Los Angeles and three other cities. John F. Kraft, ABC's public opinion analyst, will be with me to discuss the results of the survey. But now, the people of Watts, their report to America. We start with a most unusual man. Reverend Morris Samuel, Father Sam he's called, an Episcopal priest, his parish, the streets of Watts. This is where Christ himself walked with the people. And bishops, priests, deacons, ministers, rabbis, too much have isolated themselves in ivy-towered and sometimes cloistered uh, altars away from where the people are living. And down here I find real men and real women and real kids. Now, don't ask me to define real at this point. You can only feel it. You can only taste it, you can only touch it by being here. This is real life. Uh, that's maybe one of the attractions to me. I'm tired of phoniness. I'm tired of committees and, and uh, uh, pronouncements coming from pulpits that don't count. And so you get and you talk to a guy like Carl. And, 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 and you know, Carl's a real man. What have I been living through? Nothing but a lot of work and less pay. Less pay than the white man, you mean? That's right. Do you think it always has to be this way? Not necessarily. What do you think will bring about a change? Give everybody a job, that's all. That's all any of us need is a job. See, all us men standing out here, we don't need nothing but a job. You wouldn't see us out here. We don't have no one to go. We don't have no jobs. Where is it for us to do? We come out here and drink. One for a lot of our wives, we'd be in bad shape. Your wives support you, they work, That's is right. that it? How does it make you feel when you know that your wife is working and you're not? It don't make you feel real good. It's very hard to try to explain to someone what it feels like uh, to be black in a white world. Uh, the things that happen to you daily and that affect you that are so much a part of you are very hard sometimes to even remember because they come so routine. Because when you go uh, up any places around and for employment or work, uh, you go up against uh, a whitey, a whitey, and he, uh, you ask him, 
do they, uh, do they have any type of work for you to do, he'll tell you no, and the next time, next day you come up there, he's putting a white person right in the stand of him. At first I was looking for uh, a job with a skill, but then I couldn't find that, so I started looking for common labor and still can't find nothing. As he says, uh, you just go put in your applications and you, I guess when you walk out, they throw their applications in the trash basket. As long as you're from Watts, we can't use it. This is some of what it's like, but there's really nothing that I can tell you here that would fully, really let you know what it's like, because uh, it's too horrible and too deep, really, to communicate to anyone. I mean, you, 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 you leave to fight for truth, dignity, respect, and respect of other people. When you come back, you find the same thing, the same assets. No, no life of your own. Nowhere you can put your name down and say, this is Collins land. We scream, but we can't be heard. We talk. But we can't be heard. It just seems like people don't understand. Respect, I mean, respect and dignity is all I'm fighting for, for the black man himself. Right. Now is the time. Now it was that time that we start fighting for our rights, what we want. I say this much. There's a human being that has been misused. Would you have something to fear from me if you attack me? Would you? Let's stand. Answer it yourself. Would you have something to fear from me if you attacked me? You would use bloodshed? If you attacked you would, you would, you, you would use... No one knows what I will do, but would you fear? Would you fear? Would you fear? You don't know how I will respond, but do you? Would you fear? You're going to create a black monster down here. And this black monster is going to get larger and larger, and pretty soon he's going to eat all of us up. Even the Negroes that's wearing neckties and accusing themselves of being intellects. And all the white men that come in their steps. What bugs you the most? White men. All white men? Not all. Just the one that's pushing the Negro. And you've been pushed around by white men? When I was younger, I was, but not now. But you still remember this? I still remember. And you think you're going to continue to be pushed around by white men? No, I don't. Why not? Because the Negroes are stepping up, they're waking up, and they're going to do something about what the white man did to them in the past. What will the black man do? The black man will come up, take the white man's position, and put him where the Negroes are today. Is that what you're fighting for? Is that why you rioted in August? We rioted because the white man was doing the Negroes unfair. They was taking what, them, what the Negroes had, all they had, just about. And you've had enough of that? I've had enough of it. And what are you going to do about it? If, if necessary, start another riot. You're not afraid of bloodshed, then? I'm not afraid of bloodshed. If I have to die for my rights, I will. Do I think I can make it through riding? Do you think we can make it on promises? That reaction. That reaction, no one knows, like I've told you. But that reaction is what he must fear. Burning. No telling. Looting. No telling. Blood. No telling. How can I explain something that another man may do? I'm only human. I can only see myself. And I can see that much of myself because I am only human and no one knows the man's mind. I don't even know my own mind. I don't know what limits are set on me. You don't either. That's just why you fear. That's just why I fear. So this is what we'll have to look at. <laughs>